Okay. Well, that's all we can do. Shall we move? We I don't want to waste actual items on this. <laughs> Did you just seriously suggest that? Oh, use your items, Bill. You just bought all, everything, but you won't use it. You're going to use unlimited spells instead. Yeah, because I'm going to use my consumables, which I can't make unlimited of. How dumb. How ridiculous. Preposterous. Sorry. Um. Nice. Posterous. Okay. Yeah, mage armor covers that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Watch and learn. Who, me? Well. Okay. Mimusi Travisti. Okay. Shoot. They'll beg me to stop. Can we retreat already? Two T six plus four. Oh, move up. Okay. Cultist. Oh my god, that damage. You. Oh my god. Are you done? You done? Good. Jesus. Move up. Burn, slice, uh, the head. Oh. Nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> so good. Hey. Did it. Hmm. 
No match for me. Actually, go back a little bit. A lot, actually. There you go. And that's it. Uh, did I mess up again? Uh, did I mess up again? Are you evil? You saved? You bastard! Oh yeah, I need to increase your charisma. Oh! The light! Take you! May I see your entrails, please? My legs carry me. I like that doesn't take too long. There's a trader I'm trying to track down. Who's your informant among the thief things? Kenabrest is threatening the him and you have enough spare time to help out thieves? I don't like this, but I hope you know what you're doing. I'll tell you everything I know. I did not see my informant's face. He slipped out of the dark alley, handed me a note, and disappeared. He had a cloak with a hood masking his face, but the horns, long horns, didn't fit under it. There should be a guardian golem in Ancient Trees of Wonders, shop they tried to rob. The owner gave us a construct code word just in case. The golem itself was destroyed, but the head seems to be intact. So you can interrogate the thing and find out what it saw. The code word is Hand of Iori. The shop owner must have escaped, but there's a chance to get lucky with a golem. Alright. Oh, I should turn off the uh, gold iron. Oh. Hearing the word pit tax is, uh, yeah, it's something. Um, Finian, the talking weapon. Phew, free at last. I thought I'd be flattened like a little pancake under that rubble. Much obliged, damn. I'm not in any pain, but my head is still foggy for some reason. What's up with all the hubbub in the city? The name's Finian, I'm a pathfinder. If there's anything I can do, I will. You're a Pathfinder? That's right, Finian Dismar, Pathfinder and Crusader. I roam around the world wherever my tasks lead me, scouting mostly. But this last while, I've just been hanging around in Kenebris, waiting until I'm needed again. I'm bored out of my mind, but at least this shop makes for a better lodging than some inn. 
Uh, what I meant was, what are you? What do you mean? I just told you. You want to know where I hail from? Is that it? Well, I'm from around here, actually. We Kellids of the Star Eye clan fled the world womb troubles uh, when the world world trouble began, but I couldn't stand by while the demons wrecked havoc, so I came back. Or do you mean to ask about my weapon of choice? My best weapon is every weapon. I'm a skilled and capable fellow. If I do say so myself, I can swing a sword and poke with a spear. But what I'm best at is communing with the spirit. They call a uh, folk like me phantom blades. A phantom blade? What is that? It's a spiritualist, but a twist. I mean, that some spirit took a liking to me at some point, and it can turn it into whatever uh, weapon I need. Handy, huh? I don't need any whetstones or enchantment. It doesn't take up space either. Although, to be fair, it's not a barrel of laughs. The spirit that bestowed this kind of power don't come in happy places, and they're not exactly bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. They usually appear in great battles that have few survivors. Uh, how do you end up here? Ugh. I've been here for so long I don't remember anymore, just sitting and waiting for any word from the Pathfinder. But it looks like everyone has forgotten about me. The shop owner is an old friend of the Pathfinder, so I've taken up residence here. Well, the city is under attack by demons. Wait, what? The last thing I saw was some thieves breaking here, then the guards came, everyone running about. After that, it's a bit of a blur. Right when things got intense, they dropped the cabinet on me. I couldn't even help the owner. I was just lying under the shelf like a dimwit until you came along. If there are demons in Canebris, we must do something about it. The city needs every blade it can get. Hey, do you mind taking me with you? I don't think I can handle this alone. And besides, the more the merrier. Alright, I'll take you with me. I swear, you won't forget it. I can do all sorts of things, but there is anything, uh... Is there anything your party is missing? A sword, a spear, a bow? Just say the word. You now have a unique companion, fitting in the talking weapon. You can access him through a special button in your inventory. Click to initiate dialogue with him and change his form to make take the shape of any weapon before handing him to one of your characters in the party. There's no limitation to changing uh, Finian's form. Finian will become more powerful as the as his personal story progresses. Oh wow! Finian. Oh, that is so cool! Hail the Avengers, you know, I've never uh, regretted following you. Everyone seems to revolve around you. Like beavers do a milliween, like we're the main character or something. I'll have a lot to write in my report to the Pathfinder Society. Although, thinking about it, it's been a while since I last sent any reports. Uh, tell me about Pathfinder Society. Oh, well, sometimes folks uh, curse our name, calling us opportunists who just want to live our uh, lie in our pocket. But that's only part of it. We're traveler, explorers, solvers of mystery, fighter of evil. I mean, good coin doesn't hurt anybody, but for folks like me, it's not what matters most. We're curious to see the world, play a part in everything, stick our noses everywhere. Getting into our circle isn't easy. First, you must prove that you can endure any place you're sent to, that you won't shy away or flee. That's why you'll never catch a long line of applicants outside of any society's lodge. Every lodge has a venture captain, and if they approve your application, you're in. And there are many lodges all over the world, but the main one, the Grand Lodge, is located far away, in Absalom. I've never been there myself, but I've heard a lot of stories about it and about the uh, Decem Decemberate that governs all the Pathfinder affairs from there. Oh wow, that's rude. You talk too much, it's annoying, you're a weapon, nothing more? Oh my god. I'm, I'm chaotic evil, but I'm not a dick. Um... <laughs> I want to talk about you. Sure, go ahead. Although I've been, uh, haven't really done anything noteworthy yet. Do you realize that you're a weapon? What kind of question is that? I mean, sure, the clerics keep going on about every crusader being a weapon of Iomide, but I don't speak in myself in fancy word like that. I'm just had, I'm just a lad with two arms, two legs, and more freckles than I like. I choose where to go and whom to fight for. I don't want to see to be someone's weapon. You hear? Uh. Arden is dead. Now everybody decides their own fate. How do you become a Pathfinder? I've always wanted to be one ever since I was a kid. I remember going out to my edge of my village at sunset and then just keep walking until I got tired or someone dragged me back to my ear. It was like something was drawing me away from home. My clan wasn't the nomadic kind, 
before the wound opened, the idea of traveling anywhere would never have been crossed my mind of many clan. They were content with the community of Bashland. Uh, I always wanted... Okay, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of talking. My father, he wanted to teach me about the shaman like him, but as soon as I came of age, I was off looking for Pathfinder Society. I found it in Iz. After three weeks of travel on foot, I passed their trails and they accepted me. Trials. And accepted me. My father hasn't spoken to me since, but that's alright. Once he hears my great deeds, he'll come around. Someday. All he wanted was to rush off in some faraway land and find a treasure trove no one else had discovered yet. But I knew I had a duty, uh, Sarkoris. Then, a, the wound opened. The demons, the havoc, in the end, I never went anywhere. Uh, you remember anything about before you end up in here in Cadabras? There's... Uh, I mean, a lot of things happen. I remember how happy everyone was when the word stone was placed in Canabras. That was some celebration. And I remember when the cultists took me, cut down my whole party, and dragged me to their uh, ringleader. I don't know his name. Everyone just called him the Bladesmith. But after that, my memory is all fuzzy. For some reason, he didn't sacrifice me anything. Just knocked me around. Said he'd been looking for a phantom blade for a long time. I don't remember why. Now, how I escaped, what I did can't remember either. Some crusader picked me up in the wound, brought me to Canebris, and that's where I stayed, licking my wounds. So maybe there was some mix-up in how they think I'm dead. Why else would none of them contact me this whole time? The worst stone, you say? You were describing what happened decades ago. That's rich. Next you're going to tell me I've been sleeping for decades. Last year, that was. Well, maybe the years before that. I couldn't have been wandering the wound that long. I would have been either dead or an old geezer by now. Nah, quit messing with me. You have a fox sense of humor, my friend. <laughs> Though you play a joke on me, I, I've never met any fox folk before. But now, I know I'll be on guard around your kin. Finian, you need to understand, you're not human anymore. Finian voice sound concerned. Hey, are you feeling alright? Maybe you need to have a, a lie down. I'm standing right in front of you. Poke me if you like. As human as they come, or do you think my travel have worn me down so much I become an animal? Not happening. My folk taught me to stay human, always, no matter the circumstance, to remember who I am and never to shame my ancestor. Are you still able to commune with spirits? Maybe I can, only they don't answer me. I'm still a spiritualist, a phantom blade. My power is within me, but I have this feeling like I'm separated from the spirit world by some kind of transparent wall. I keep knocking, but no one can hear me, I think. Guess all the bladesmith's torture did a number on me. He broke something inside. Alright, that's all for now. So, I need to use him, I guess. Um, I don't have a good longbow. So... Never mind. You can only transform into simple weapons. Oh damn, that's pretty good. Dude, I can't believe you can only transform into simple weapons. Oh wait, rapiers right there. Wait, do I have to be like, can you only transform? Oh. 
He can only transform to items someone can use. Oh. Oh, you don't have a regular longbow. So composite is, is just better. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Perfect. There you go. Where do you want me? Turn that off. Yeah, we don't really need that anymore, do we? Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun! You need me. Good. Okay. Dude! She now has a good bow. Might be trap, might be treasure. The hell is a pipe fox? Insight bonus on knowledge arcana and insight bonus on perception skill checks. Lore nature. So I need someone with already good perception. So 10, 5, 7, 6. Uh, nature. Yeah, you. Needs the owl. And you take the pipe fox. Only you deserve my obedience. My tail is restless. Wait. Now I have two. Yay. Uh, master, code word. Hands of Iori. Code word, correct. Awaiting orders. Where do you come from? Who created you? This golem was created by Grafreen and Son and Son. Address, third building on the right jeweler's alley. Uh, Neil Saren Medi Model G504NE. Which stands for Experimental and Enhanced. For all inquiries, contact Mr. Grafreen. Tell me about the suspicious people who came to the shop last week. 56 individuals enter the shop. Human female, old, gnome male, old, human female. Were there any suspicious people? Tieflings. Tieflings, three, tiefling male, middle aged, tiefling male, young, tiefling male, young. Young male tiefling. Tiefling male, medium height, short horns, curling backwards, medium length tail, eye color, yellow, hair color, black. Special observation, annoyed master. Horns, hairs, tail, that sound like me, but it's not possible. I know what security is like here. I didn't come near the place. I give you my word, chief. No special observation. Subject was unremarkable. See, can't happen to me. Middle aged tiefling. Tiefling male. Medium height, long horns, medium length tail, uh, eye color, blue, pale blue, skin color, dark, special observation, red hair. Oh, that's our trader. I bet my life on it. Curious May drilled it into our head that we wasn't to go hanging around the shop. Hmm, red hair. I got a couple. We've got a couple of gingers and plenty more to get uh, it out of the bottle. So much for special observation. Gollum ain't all that crack up to me, huh? Maybe it's master knows more. Describe the female tiefling. Tiefling, female, above average height, hair long, pale, tail long horn. Special observation, scar on nose, uh, baldric with gold stitching. Mm, I don't know that one. New arrival in the city, gold stitching, eh? Wouldn't mind getting to know her a little better. 
enough. Uh, where's your master? Uh, Philemon uh, Frulietros. My master is in his hiding place. Revealing location to the hiding place is prohibited. 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 Likely he holds himself in the basement when the commotion started. The entrance should be around here somewhere. Where's the basement? The basement is below me. I guard the basement. Leave my house is prohibited. Alright, cool. My tail is twitching. Must be a sign. Have I pleased you? You have pleased me. Am I not? Kind of, yeah. The LED gnome so portly has to be nearly spherical. It's curled up in the corner of the basement, shaking. Marauders, bandit, scavenger! Shut it! Or you'll pay for your insult with your life. The Eagle Watch have probably caught up with the bandits by now, and you won't get off lightly either, you can be sure of that. You, Wolchiff, you dirty little sneak thief, you've been sniffing around my shop for years. Finally woke up the cutters to rob me, didn't you? Get out of here. You and your pals have taken everything already, I'm sure. My name's Philemon Ful uh, Furliatros, and the owner of the shop, but I'm sh not sure I can claim the owner of anything now. I hope there's at least something left of it. Oh, come off it. Your shop's fine. It's a bit ransacked, maybe, but nothing a bit of polish can't fix. Uh, where were the night the robbery? Do you think I robbed, I robbed my own shop? I was here in the basement. I was told to make it look like I left. The watch was very keen to get their hands on those thief things. Um, they seem to be multiplying all over Galarian. So, of course, I did everything they said, and I've been stuck in the basement since then. The golem wouldn't move away from the door no matter how much I yelled at it, but then I thought that it was all, the, uh, all to the good. Somebody came... By after the garden and cause a rocket upstairs, bellowing like mad, taking advantage of my absence. Tell me about the tiefling that visited ancient trees and wonders recently. Why would I tell you anything about uh, my customer? You're not from the city guard or the eagle watch. Okay. Uh, start talking or else? Guess what? The worst already happened. The whole city is picked over. My shop feel like I'm ruined. Go ahead, kill me before my creditors comes knocking. Uh, I'm helping the eagle rat catch the culprit. It's in your interest to tell me everything. So they haven't got the thief uh, links. I thought the city's finest were on the job, and they uh, can't rely on anyone. Ask questions then. Come here, Wolchiff. Uh, Wolchiff Jeffo, right? Yes, I've known him for a long time, though I'd rather not know him at all. He's been skulking around my shop for years, treating the place like a free museum. He always wanted to look at the moon of the abyss. I chased him out, but he slinked back in again. If he was the, he was with the gang that robbed my shop, I bet anything he swiped uh, the moon. <clears throat> How come I'm the prime suspect? Whoever betrayed us all, that's the one who want the moon. I want to see it return too, you get me? I don't like the idea of other people grubbing mitts on it. Tell me about the red haired tiefling. Tell me about the tiefling woman. A tiefling woman, I guess I remember now. A noble lady, unlike the tiefling ruffians around here. She purchased magical equipment for the crusade. And she promised to come again. If only all tiefling were like that. I laughed all the way to the bank. Tell me about the red haired tiefling. Red haired tiefling, ah, yes. I suppose there was someone who came in. Spent a long time looking around. He was a person of modest means, I could tell by his clothes, but he asked me to show him an Asmar made chainmail. He certainly can't afford it. That's when I suspected that something was off. I checked everything after he left, but nothing was missing, and I put and that put my mind at ease. I can't remember what he looked like. I didn't get a look at his face. All I remember was that he wrapped in a green cloak like he was freezing, but that's all I have. That's it. 
But that description will surely sniff him out. Come on, Chief. Back to Sister Karisme. Okay. Uh, I found everything I need to know. If that's enough to help you catch the thief, then I don't know what else to tell you. Now be on your way and leave me in peace. Yeah, I'm reading through it pretty fast. I know. I wish it was voiced. I wish it was voiced. The tiefling are tense and ready. The only redheads are Melrun and Daffy. The dark-skinned tiefling are Varnir, Daffy, and Melrun. Daffy, Melrun, and Tavi have straight horns, but Tavi is female. Only Varnir and Melrun have green cloaks. Melrun and Daffy. The only redheads are Melrun and Daffy. So it's Melrun. Yeah, Melrun is the only one. Yeah, I'm ready to give a name. Uh, the traitor is Melrin. You pay for this. Uh, Violto and Hazemir will get you in the end. Oh god! Straight through the back. Grab him, take him away for questioning. Charisma looks weary, but her earlier tension has clearly lifted. He confessed, someone connected to the cult of Baphomet ordered him to steal the Moon of the Abyss, and the bad idea he could come up with was to drag us into it. He got the scroll to take out the Golem. He betrayed us to Erebeth, and so that he could swipe the amulet into chaos. He thought we'd get nicked, and Slink offered to meet up with his customer. You have the Moon of the Abyss? Let me look at it uh, one more time. My whole life dream of holding it in my hand, if only for a second. He said when he got... Uh, to the window, the moon was gone. He's lying, of course. He had time to hand off the moon to the person who ordered it, bloody cultists. And I don't really give a toss. I'm just glad we're at the bottom of this. What are you going to do now? Clear out this place. The sooner the better. This city is dying. I don't want to die with it. This city uh, could have already died, not for people who stood up and defended it with their weapons in hand. So defend it. I'm not stopping you. It's your city, but we've always been outsiders here. Why should we fight with you now? Can I join the family? <laughs> uh, that's all you want? You can have your pick of the non-tiefling gangs. Uh, no need to uh, tread on our territory. The family is for tiefling only. No exceptions. Oh, if I was a tiefling, that might have been different, huh? Uh, what are you going to do with the traitor? Um, he'll be sent to visit distant relative on their farm. Just think what he, what he did. Any more questions? To the farm, huh? Alright. Have to go. Good decision. I don't plan on hanging around either. Sister, you forgot something. What now? This week, uh, you should be happy to be alive. An apology? Your mom, you promised to apologize to me loudly in front of everybody. We're alone now, but I still want to hear it. Well? Ah, that. Uh, so sorry, I suppose, for being, uh, so sorry, I suppose, for being wrong about you this time. Don't think it was just because you didn't act like a jerk that canceled out the rest of your record. Uh, I know all about it. Till next time, Wildred. <laughs> that was the most p pathetic apology I've ever heard. <laughs> but then she sighs. Nice. Alright. Fine. I'm sorry, Wolf Let's part on good terms. Now apologize to me as well? When you falsely accuse my outline, you accuse me too. Don't push it. <laughs> good luck to both of you. Alright. Better nothing. Listen, Chief. Uh, when you got a spare minute, come and see me. I've got something I want to discuss with you. But for now, let's get out of here. I don't like sitting around uh, below ground when the building above is already crashing down on our heads. Now, what is that? 
Might be trap, might be treasure. I hope you appreciate this. Oh, that's a good map. I like that over uh, over map. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Psst, look, Chief. I got something to show you. Ta-da! A <laughs> real beaut, isn't it? Oh, nice. Um, you've been searched by the guards. How do you manage to hide the amulet? <laughs> Thieves have their ways. Um, so did you betray the tieflings? Oof, that cuts me deep, Chief. You and I saw who the traitor was. It's just that when we robbed the shop, I went in first and took what I wanted. Nothing wrong with that. True. Although, of course, I did think about hiding the moon and just taking myself off somewhere warm when all this blows over. But only because I want to see the world. Is it a crime to want to travel, huh? Is that what counts for treachery these days? Do you really have the amulet this whole time? Since that night, Chief, Melround didn't even set eyes on it. While he was dealing with the golem, I sneaked past them, and that was that. Remind me, why is it so important? Do you really not remember it? Oh, I thought you would appreciate it. It's from the old man Fileman, the owner of the Ancient Trees and Wonders shop. It's the pride of his collection. The Moon of the Abyss, an amulet with a rare crystal crafted by an unknown maker. When I think of how much this thing is worth, it makes my head spin. Why do you steal the moon of the abyss? You wouldn't have been able to sell it anyways. <laughs> Why, she asks. It's expensive, pretty. And you know, it's my amulet, actually. Not meaning I stole it, but I, I mean, this is my inheritance. My grandma and I were poor. All we had was a jewelry box with the moon in it. She used to store it under the floor in the basement. And she'd take it out sometimes, just to look at it. <laughs> she was always nicer when she had a few drinks in her, so I could ask her things then. One time I asked where she got it from, and she said it was from a demon. You know, the demon who was my grandfather. He said the moon was to be passed down. My ma was good for nothing and nobody, so that's why grandma decided to keep the amulet for me. She used to say it would be mine when I grew up. But she couldn't wait until I grew up. She squandered my inheritance when she became a drunk. Took it to Fileman's shop and pawned it. He gave her some coppers for it, and she didn't even haggle. Just grabbed them and ran back to the tavern before last orders. 
I've been going to Fileman's to look at the moon ever since I was a kid. He chased me away, but I just kept going back, so eventually he gave up. He didn't skimp on security. The place was like a fortress, so he wasn't worried about a street rat like me pinching anything. Even when I got more skilled, I couldn't get any closer to it. One day, I had no one to go with. Another day, there were only oafs who'd never stolen anything more than a church donation box. But when Karisme had planned everything out, I, I realized I had a chance to get the moon and move away from here. Maybe to Garen, I, I hear it's warmer there. I've stayed with the family for too long. <laughs> you did the right thing by not giving away the amulet. Stealing from thieves isn't even stealing. You have to put yourself first. Allies, friends, it's all a load of crap. Life brings us together, forces us to make plans, do whatever it is we do, but it's a safe bet that this ain't forever. I might be a traitor, but the others, what? Are they any better than me? Melround had a good reputation in the family. He was trusted, and you see what happened. If you abide by the law, anyone can rob you. So you need to break the law first when no one expects it, and run before you go soft and get too attached. Whatever you think, I owe you. I'm not just a thief, I have my own business selling things. Thanks to you, I'm still in the family, and they, well, I, I mean, we have the black market sewn up in this city. It's a good way to sell valuables. So, if you need anything, a scroll or something, just say the word. I have a little portal to our people in Erosian. You put a note there, and you get what you need. I can't get you anything big, but what they do have is all high quality. Nothing's too good for you, chief. What's mine is yours. For a price, of course. Sweet. Um, are you really staying in the party or just waiting for a chance to run off? <laughs> All right, show me what you got. Oh my god. He actually sell things. That is incredible. Mine. There. Sweet. It's okay, now what? Uh, two handed light crossbow of force. Quarter staff. Actually, we'll do that right there. But it still gives Arcana checks, so we're gonna keep it on him. Um, I don't have a longbow. That's worthless. I do not have a good rapier. And I don't have a good secondary dagger for him. 
definitely do not have a good longsword. Okay. Let's go. Mm, this way. So we did his quest. All right. I like that. Wherever my legs carry me. I think that's it. I am yours to command. Okay. Oh, that's not infinite. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. You can trust me. Together, we stand. Then I insisted, but I should. I need that to survive. Then I argued. Then I agreed to do it. It's so hard to decide I whether I have breakfast or not. You'll make a fine trophy. Hey, he didn't reduce damage. Nice. Oh damn. Why did I do five damage? Hang on. Oh, living ram. That's right. Her charge attack is pretty deadly. Oh, it's not dead. Whoops. He just got knocked down. Holy shit. Done with you. There you go.
Let the attack commence. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, that did zero damage. Why? Why did that do zero damage? Oh, because this is only enchantment plus. Okay. And her bow had a cold iron on it. I see. That pushback, though. The inheritor, guide my blade. What's a miss? I mean, I really shouldn't be surprised. I'll rip you apart. Right, your bow is cold iron, right? Yeah. Okay, the market. This should be interesting. Pretty good, aren't I? Oh well, he is fucked. Oh, Bane is around herself. Whoops. Dude, most things are immune to fire. What am I supposed to do? Send. 
Nice. Didn't think that would hit everyone. Ooh. Cold iron masterwork. Don't attack me. Oh, never mind. for me. Wait, did you just try to shoot your friend? Marauders and Neophyte. Tashani Sabi Tu. Tashani Sabi Tu? Get fucked. Yeah. Damn it. I love that they're attacking um, the neophytes. I'll rip you apart! 14 damage. Oh my god. That's disgustingly strong. Hey, don't shoot me! Hello? Oh my god, you both missed your attack of opportunity.
Can you stop with the Sonic Sabre tool? Please. Four whole damage. God damn. Dead. Dead. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? You roll a six both times. Wait for me there. Um, save. 